Travis. Albert Lee's Main Street is finally reopened to drivers after flooding cut off access for more than two weeks. Now businesses in the area are hoping to recover from the downpour with an uptick in customers. KIMT News 3's Max Hasler is joining us live from Albert Lee. Max, it's absolutely looking drier than the last time we saw you reporting along Main Streets. Well, absolutely, Jess. It is much drier here. Most of the uh, rain and the road barricades that came with it have been cleared out, with the exception of a few over by the retention pond. Both retention ponds in this area are still very high compared to where they usually are, but it's still a very welcome sight to all of the businesses in the area that rely on traffic coming through here for any sort of business. Now, due to these road closures, many businesses had to funnel customers through some side roads and back lots to keep the clients coming. Now, other spots had to close down completely for a short time. Now, Hanson Tire Service was in the middle of all of it, right next to these ponds, and while they had a noticeable dip in visitors at first, they were able to bounce back as time went on, and co-owner Dan Dorman tells me he's glad his customers were able to get through these detours. We just want to thank our customers for, uh, you know, understanding and coming through the back lot, and nice thing about being a small town, people people can figure that out. I mean, it took some people, we do some, some business with uh, trucks or things coming off the interstate, a little more challenging for them. Now, I'm also told by Dorman, he credits MnDOT for helping keep the flood damage here to a minimum. I'm told about two years ago, they came in here, redid the road, and raised it about two and a half feet higher, and that has helped keep the road, for the most part, out of the floodplain. In Albert Lee, Max Haslow, KIMT News 3. Good information. Thank you for that update, Max. The city of Albert Lee is still planning to use federal disaster aid to repair any damages caused by the flooding.